Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. Today, we have three new star powers coming out in a few days, but not yet, but we do have exclusive access to it. So, it's my first time seeing all of this. If you guys plan to buy the star powers, code OJ, link in the description down below. I get a small kickback for everything that you spend in the shop. Brawlers, which ones? We've got Bull, we've got Dynamic, and we've got Spike star powers. Yes, yes, yes. If I'm lucky, I'll get three in the shop, two in the shop, and then one for gem. But I don't want—I don't want to be opening 500 million boxes again. That was painful to see my gold go up 15,000. So we got Bull. His first one is Berserker. When Bull's health falls below 40%, his reload speed doubles. Now you're gonna sacrifice that for Tough Guy. When Bull falls below 40% health, same same mechanic. He gains a shield that reduces all damage. He takes by 30%. Oh no. Oh no. This is my first time seeing this. He's gonna be so broken. Pika, you're gonna love this. Oh no. I remember when Daryl had that shield and it lasted too long. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. On second thought, it's not that bad because for him to fall below 40%, he's gonna have 4,300 health. And with the shield boosting him, that effectively brings his health to 5,600 with the 30% boost. 30% of 4,300. Something something math. He's not gonna be crazy strong like Daryl. At least when Daryl rolled with a shield, he got like 10,000 health back then because he rolled at full health and he got the shield. This is shield at below 40%. Dynamite, this made him really unique. He, he used to be able to jump. This better not be like more damage. More damage. A thousand more damage. Demolition. Okay. I hate that it takes away from this really, really cool mechanic, but I like that it's useful. So three attacks and one super is going to be 6,272 damage with plus 1,000 damage. That's 7,272 damage. Is this in a significant interaction? No, Bull's still going to live with eight health. <laughs> but in the bigger scheme of things, when you're facing with like all these other teammates, all these other variables, yes, it's a huge difference. We got Spike, his regular one. When he was inside a star power, his fertilizer used to heal 500 per second. That was pretty useful, but now they've got Curveball. I thought this was going to be on BB, but BB had batter swing or something. Spikes from the cactus grenade fly in a curving motion, making it easier to hit targets. Ho oh, oh, ho! That is gonna be broken. I, I didn't. I never even used this heal. That's gonna be. That's gonna be my go-to star power for every single mode. I don't care. All right, let's check out the three star powers really quickly. So he's gonna have 30% damage reduction when he drops. So effectively increasing it by a little bit over a thousand health. Not crazy, but not bad. I, I feel like his last one would have been better. Oh. Gonna activate right now. Right now. There we go. And then it stays active the entire time. So let's say I fall to, you know, oh my goodness, that's that's so tanky. Of course the shooter bot's really weak too. But his shield stays active the whole time that he's healing. So let's say he gets hit again. Boom! His shield's still on. It's still protecting him. He's still healing. So maybe that's actually a really good star power. 1,000 more damage to Super. I would have liked to see more damage to his regular attacks instead. Like maybe 200 more damage, 100 more damage. But then that would be like two each because he's got three sticks. Does 4,000. <laughs> I don't know what anyone is expecting watching this. Curveball. I'm excited to see this though. Oh my goodness. The suspense. And we go, nope, 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 not yet, not yet. Wow. Oh my frick. Oh my frick. Okay, let's, let's, let's try this in a realistic situation. Let's say my aim is terrible. I still hit two, wow. It doesn't hit it if it's too close same thing though you get two hits quote two spikes when you land it dead on but when it's not dead on look at that when it's slightly off when it's slightly not dead on you miss it interesting interesting spike is it a buff maybe Okay, we're gonna do a linebacker build because I don't have this in the regular build. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a pro and I know every single optimal comp that he's on for every single meta. The map rotations always change. It kind of confuses me sometimes. So Starless Pro says... Um, Kaboom Canyon, safe zone, sandy gems. We're in Kaboom Canyon. Let's do it. All right, time to demolish these bots. Oh, yeah. I love how my trophies are like really low. So they, <laughs> they stink. Look at me just charge into this bull. Oh! Activate my star power. Just do it. Do it. Let's go in. We'll take care of the safe. 
My star power is activated. My star power is activated. Oh my goodness. Star power with Pam? Yes. It's like I'm constantly above this health. <laughs> I'm gonna charge just because I can. I mean, keep in mind, these are zero trophy bots, so it was kind of cool, but I don't think it was that, that much more powerful. Sandy Gems was the other one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yo, I'm in I can't do his voice acting. Yo, I'm in charge. Go into the Daryl. Come on, activate my star power. Let's do it. I love that I have Pam, though. Let's wait for it. Yeah. All right. We, we're, we're going in. Activate my star power, Colt! Colt! Colt in! W83! They're not activating my star power! I'm kind of letting them, but I'm kind of not. Star power didn't save me from Colt Blast. Bum, 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 bum. Blast through everyone. Alright. I like how she's got her, her super, but she didn't really use it. Uh. So it's not a waste. Every time I see a shield that's activated on Daryl, it's like, oh no, maybe I could have used my super another time. But this one just automatically activates when he's below health. So I kind of like it. Oh dear. <laughs> the shield doesn't prevent you from 3v1 against really bad bots. All right, let, let's just finish this off. We, we've got a good idea of the super now. Come on, get, let me get the safe. Let me, let, just let me get the safe. Maybe after I activate my super. Come on, do it. Do it. There's three of you guys. Activate my super. There we go. Silly zero trophy bots. Do we have Robo Mike? Oh, no, we don't. Fine. Fine. All right, what maps is Dynamite good on? I'm Starless. I kind of want to play this showdown. Cavern Churn is back? What? Oh, nice. It's back. Nice! That's the cool thing about Starless Pro is that they have the newest maps back in rotation and you already know. I can't jump! What is this? What is this? No, man. I think his jump is really important for high level plays. I think players like Luki Bear or Top Keck are not going to be using this. Not, not too often, at least. Not being able to jump is weird. It's like being naked. It's a completely different dynamite. Alright, I've got my star power. Get back off! Back off, Primo! What in the world? Did the bot lag? What was that? He could have had me. Bots don't miss. Bots don't lag. Frickin' Primo. 4,000. 4,000 damage. With the, with the power-ups, that was 4,600. Not bad. That was only two power-ups, by the way. I wish I had map hack right now. I don't want to engage all these guys. Wow, why is no one grabbing it? Okay! I didn't even get the chance to use my star powers. It says here, Sunstroke. Yeah, I can see that with Sunstroke. There's just a lot of walls for throwers. I do not have the time to memorize all 400 maps and their names and their layouts. <laughs> the names, they mean nothing to me. I'm actually really bad with names too, so... I really need sites like that. Look at these barrels. Alright. I might have thrown it in impulsively and wasted my super, but it's fine. These are just level zero bots. Not level zero, but zero trophy bots. I'm not even gonna heal up. Oh, wait, I should. This is bounty. <laughs> Frank, you're destroying my walls. This is what makes dynamite good. The walls. Nice. I'm worth a lot of stars. Oh, 4,000 damage. Might not be that bad. But let me hit this Colt. Oh, Jesse. Okay, Primo. Okay. Do I want to hit that Jesse? I'm going to hit that Jesse. La 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 la. I could have killed that Jesse. Oh my goodness. Colt. Colt is lagging. He's got a super highlighted. I love bots. I put myself in a really bad position and it took him eight seconds to kill me. Frickin' Jesse. Get out of here, Jesse. These bots, they're so bad that they're unpredictable. Whatever. Let's check out Spike Super in real action. We didn't totally <laughs> dominate them. 
There's bots are freaking feeders! Alright, we've got Spike. Yes, they've got Robo Spike. Why am I even looking at optimal maps? Doesn't even matter, because I'm playing bots. It says it's whatever, it's Crystal Cavern. I'm too deep into this. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. This real situation. It hits a bit easier, I feel? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll get that Leon? Nice. Put it there. Nice. Oh no. I didn't have any gems, so I didn't really die there, technically. Zero what the death. Frick, Leon? Oh my goodness. Got him! Oh, Leon. Okay. Come on. Come on, Murbots! Nice. Carl, you're going in too deep with those gems! Freaking bots! Oh, I would've died there if Dynamite had his super, or his new star power demolition. But I didn't die. Because I'm awesome. And I can destroy level 1, level 0 trophy bots. Spinny thing, I like it. I, I think I would actually use this. This is actually useful. Let's try this in Brawl Ball. Let's do... I feel like his map compositions might change a little bit with his super, so it's gonna be a little complicated because he's gonna have things to hide behind. So Super Stadium says it's a good one. There's a lot of walls to hide behind. Look at that, Super Stadium. I, I could see it, the spikes going around it. That might be useful. Let's, let's actually try... This is like... Wow! Bum bum bum! Oh, that's juicy. Look at me hit that Nita. So, you do have to change your attack pattern a little bit. Freaking Colt, get out of here. I'm gonna trust the bots to, to take him out. Still only hits two, though. Two to three. No Nita, no Nita, no Nita. Oh, that Nita could have killed me if it was a real... Wait, what was Colt doing down there? Did they not take him out? Whatever! <laughs> they couldn't even score and I... <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's let's see if we can actually push forward and score or something. Maybe I will... Oh, no, no! That is, that's not Hyper Bear. That's Scary Bear. I don't like it. Okay. Why did Penny use a use her super there. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna walk it in on the basis that these bots don't care about me. Oh, I made her waste her super. Pro move there. This is a lot harder than it looks when you have two really bad bots on your team as well. Okay, okay. Maybe I will... shoot it in. Bum bum bum, maybe I'll walk it in. I meant to spin on them. Oh my frick. Poco, pass it. Poco! 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 This is what I'm talking about. We could have scored there. My goodness. Freaking Poco, I'm gonna score anyways, even if you stink. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating playing with bots. That's gonna be it for the three star powers. You got Bull, who's got a shield. I could see that being useful. You got Dynamite, who's got more damage. My opinion is, I think his jump can actually avoid stuff, especially in high level play with Luki's clips. Yeah, the, the Dyna jump is just so much more valuable. He's invulnerable when he jumps. He can hop through walls. I think there's so much more potential than having like 33% more damage on your super. Yeah. Then you've got Spike. Curveball, I think it's cooler. I never use the heal that much, so I feel like it's cool that you can reach around corners, but there is the drawback too, when you usually do hit them when you're like one tile down, but it's not gonna hit them this time in this case. Hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OG.